Today I will show you how, in probably the simplest ever way, implement flapperons using iNav and the OpenTX radio. The goal of this tutorial is to assign switch D, this one over here, to this servo, so this servo can act not only as a regular aileron, but also as a flapperon. When the switch D is in the top position, then the servo acts only on the roll axis, does nothing else. But when we move the switch down, then the default position of this servo will be deflected downwards slightly, so that the extra lift on the cost of the extra drag will be generated by the wing. As a result, the aeroplane will be able to move slightly slower through the air and yet do not lose the altitude because of the extra extra drag and extra lift generated by this control surface. First of all, we have to assign the switch with one of the RC channel. To do it, let's of course go to the mixer and in the mixer let's choose a channel. I will be using channel 5 to implement the flapper on switch. So let's edit and set the source to SD. This is not all, because we want the switch natural position to be, so that the switch is not interacting with the servo position in the top position, we will have to modify, modify the weight and the offset. By default, the middle position is the zero position, but we want to have the top position as the zero position. This is why we have to change the weight and set it to 50%. Okay, we have 51 will be fine. And also we have to change the offset to the 50%. Right now, if we will observe the values on the channel 5. Right now the channel 5 has 0% output, now it has 50% output and now it has 100% output. If we would not modify the weight and the offset, then at the middle position the channel would have 0%, at top position minus 100 and the lower position plus 100. Now let's go to the INAF configurator. In the receiver channel in the receivable tab, we will be able to see that by default when the switch is in the top position, the channel 5 is at 1500, default value, the, the zero value of the channel, and when I will be deflecting the switch downward, then the value will grow to 200. We are almost home. Now, let's go to the mixer. On the mixer page, let's find the rule that drives the servo connected to the roll input. This is our servo that's acting as a servo driving the aileron on the right wing. Now, we want to modify the behavior of this servo. This is why we have to add a new mixer rule for servo number two, but instead of assigning it some stabilized function, let's assign the RC channel 5 and save and reboot. Right now, if the switch is in the top position, the servo acts like always. If I would move it one step down, as you can see, the control surface was raised and raised again. This is exactly the inverse what we wanted to achieve. We do not want to implement the spoilerons because yes, this is a spoileron. We want to implement the flapperon. How to do it? We have to reverse the switch interaction with the server. You can of course reverse it in the OpenTX, but I think it's better to reverse it in the INAF mixer. And you just have to change the weight of the rule from 100 to minus 100. Reboot. And, and we are, to be honest, almost done. When I will move the switch down, the servo deflects a little downwards. We already have slight flapper on. And if I move it to positions, then the full deflection, even though the roll is not active, is deployed. 
Of course, this has a problem. Look what's happening. When I move the stick to the left, the servo is not moving at all when the flapper on is at the maximum deflection. Why? Because the servo output is saturated. This, the switch already gives it 100% output and there is no room for the roll authority in that direction. There is in, in the other, but this is not exactly what we want. What we have to do, we have to slightly modify the weight again, because minus 100 saturates completely the servo at fully deployed flapperons. We should change it to around 60. Right now, what will happen? Let's wait for the reset. When the switch is in the top position, the servo and the control surface acts like a regular servo and the control surface. When I switch the switch one position, then it still acts as a aileron, but also is slightly deployed downwards and generates some extra lift while keeping the authority on the roll. On the full deflection, we have still some authority down and a lot of authority in the other direction. The flapperon has been implemented using INAV and OpenTX. Of course, you do not have to use switch. Instead of switch, when you want to have pretty really smooth control on the deployment of the flapperon in your model, you can use, for example, a slider. What's different between the switch and the slider? You only have to assign the slider to the channel that drives the flapper on, not the switch, and you are done. In the next episode, I will show you how to make flaps on the separate servo so that there is no this effect of saturation and the flap is much, much, much more efficient. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.